Welcome back. Cat out of kickoff here on the Husker Sports Network. And our road game this year being brought to you by Truck Center Company. He's a proud sponsor of the Huskers. And some great former Huskers are part of that company. And uh, Chad and Chris Kelsey. And Chris joins us now here on the program. Chris, I hope you're having, having a good week. We are. We're having a great week, and we're looking forward to uh, another road game this weekend. Yeah, this big one with this, the, the Badgers here tonight for this one. I'm going to ask you about that one coming up here in just a minute. I asked you about your week. you got to tell everybody. you got a chance to go see a little World Series action. What was that like? Uh, it, was, it was a great uh, great experience. You know, I'd never been to a World Series game, and, and uh, we flew out to uh, Cleveland yesterday afternoon, caught the game, and, and flew right back afterwards. Um you know, it makes for a, for a long night, but uh, we had a lot of fun and, and really enjoyed ourselves. You have been a part of a lot of great football atmospheres, whether it be in the NFL or the college level. How, do, how did a World Series atmosphere go? You know, it was my first one, like I mentioned, so uh, I didn't really know what to expect. But, uh, you know, there's tons of people. You know, these two uh, ball clubs with the Cubs and, and the Indians haven't been removed from the series for so long. I think it made it extra special. And, um, you know, Cubby fans – I'm probably, you know, feeling a little worse off this morning, but, uh, um, you know, it's a long series and, and they got a chance to get back into it, but we had a great time. Yeah, great. Wonderful. Glad you had a chance to experience that. That's one of those bucket list things for a lot of sports fans. Go check out a, a World Series game. Well, tell me about Truck Center Companies. I know you guys are, are expanding a little bit. Give me give me the update on the company. Yeah, so we're uh, we're building a new dealership out off the interstate um, in Omaha, off Interstate 80. Uh, just east of Warner Enterprises. Um, we're basically combining um, the majority of our Omaha locations into one spot. Uh, we just kind of outgrown our other locations, and uh, I think this is going to be a great thing for the company, a great way to uh, expand our, our brand and um, be able to service and, and uh, you know, provide support to uh, more customers. Well, I know for you, it was joining the, the team at Truck Center Companies. Talk about that transition, leaving the life in the NFL and, and finding a, a place to work like Truck Center Companies and, and alongside a lot of good people, including your brother. Right, yeah. Um, so when I retired, I took about a year and a half off, um, you know, to heal up a little bit and enjoy some time with just my family and friends. But uh, I'm, a, I'm a driven guy. I, I need something to uh, to wake up to every morning and uh um, truck center companies was a perfect fit for me. You know, a really, really close friend of mine, Trey Mitty, who's our owner, um, asked me to come work for him. Obviously, my brother, like you mentioned, is uh, a part of this team as well. So, great group of people. We have great customers and uh, just a fun, fun company to be a part of. Well, we're delighted that you're on board with us again this year and the sponsor of our road game broadcast, including this one with the uh, Wisconsin Badgers. Let's talk about this team a little bit. I mean, some of the weeks haven't been overly pretty, Chris, but but they're wins. What what have you seen from the Huskers the last couple of weeks? You know, I think the same thing everybody's seen. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if we really even know what our true identity is yet as far as a fan base goes, but I know that a, a win is a win. It's tough to win um, in college, uh, you know, big time football and and so we'll take every one of those w's we can get um i think our true colors will will probably show uh over the next couple of weeks um but hopefully we're just taking it one game at a time you know wisconsin is a great team and, and we'll have our hands full this weekend up there but it's definitely definitely a game we can win and i'm looking forward to watching it and, and i'm sure they're preparing like heck uh you know to go up there and, and get another w and go to eight now I want to ask you about the black shirts. I mean, last year was a tough year. They were one of the one of the poorest teams against the pass last season, but so much better this year. You, I'm sure, during your life in the NFL, went through some coaching changes. Talk about how how different philosophies can be, and how that it does take some time, maybe, to learn a different system. It takes time. You know, there are growing pains, but uh, you know, you're right. I, I I saw five different head coaches in my professional career in ten years, and um, sometimes it, there's a learning curve there, but. Um, yeah, you know, I've been pretty impressed with the way our defense has played, especially in certain games. You know, coming up when we when we need them to step up and and close out games. And you know, uh, there's been a couple games where had it not been for our defense, we wouldn't have won, won those games. So it's a it's a team effort. You got to be hitting on all cylinders uh, whenever you can. But um, defense wins you the ball games. You always hear that. And I'm really impressed with the staff and what they've done to uh, to build this defense. You know, we've we've really been struggling on that side of the ball for for quite a while now and, and to see us perform in, in big situations and, and help our team get W is, uh, is, uh, is definitely a plus. What do you think's going through Ross DeZuris' mind right now? This is a kid from, from a small town in Nebraska, Plattsmouth, and walked on to the program, earned his scholarship. Now I think he leads the team in sacks. I mean, you, you probably recognize that story as a kid that grew up. I'm sure he was a huge Husker fan growing up. Mm-hmm. And it has to be a lot of pride for him to go out there and play for the Black Shirts. Oh, absolutely. You know, my brother and I can both vouch for that. Um, you know, growing up in Nebraska, he was a Nebraska boy, you're a Husker fan, you know, and 
um, there's nothing more important than to uh, be able to go represent your, your state and uh, with the in on your helmet and um, to see the success that he's having as a small-time boy, like you said, I'm sure it's just something that, that he's grand big inside and uh, hopefully he can keep it up because uh, we need him. And um, uh, yeah, I know he's making a lot of people proud around the state, including this, this small town fans are in Plotman. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is a different kind of offense that the Oscars are going to see. Uh, this is going to be smash mouth. This is big boy stuff. They're going to run downhill. We've seen a lot of spread and all that type of thing in the first seven weeks of the season. As a defender, do you get excited for this kind of a physical game? What's your mindset going into this kind of a battle? Yeah, you love these type of games. You know, anytime that team is going to come in and try to blow in your nose and, and run down your throat, um, it's a huge challenge. And uh, it's one that you got to rise to the occasion. You know, every time you put your hand in the dirt, um, you get a pretty good feeling what's coming. And if you can, you know, hold up and, and uh, in those situations against those teams that, that want to, you know, like I said, uh, pound the football and blow your nose and, and play physical physical ball all game, um, and you come out with a W at the end, it's, it's a great day. Um, there's a lot of pride that, that goes along with it, walking off that field. and um, I think we're up to the challenge. I guess we'll find out this weekend, but uh, um, I'm hoping for the best, and I'm sure we're preparing hard, and we know exactly what we're going to get when we go into Wisconsin. We're visiting Chris Kelsey, former Husker great, also an academic All-American in Nebraska. He now works for Truck Center Companies. They are the sponsor of our road game broadcast. You mentioned the new facility that you're opening up in, in Omaha, but I know that with, with the reach of the Husker Sports Network all across the state, all across the region, kind of makes sense, doesn't it, to be a partner with, with the Husker Sports Network? Oh, absolutely. We're, uh, we're huge fans of, of Husker football, not just myself, my brother playing, but uh, Trey, our owner, it's something that he's committed to. And, um, he does a lot to uh, to support the Huskers and to be a part of a, custom, uh, a company that that uh, you know really wants to to, to follow the the program and to to get you know our name out there as well as uh, supporting a great a great program and and so uh, a, a program that's done a ton for a lot of people, a lot of kids in Nebraska and, and win ball games. You know, it's all about success. We want to be successful. We want Nebraska to be successful. So to partner up with them, um, I think it's just a, a great fit. Well, Chris, we always appreciate catching up. Enjoy the game, and, and best of luck to you and, and Truck Center Companies. I appreciate it. Chris Kelsey, former Black Shirt, now with Truck Center Companies, with us here on Countdown to Kickoff. Here on.